So it's not also enough to just plan for the coverage of your Wi-Fi. We also need to plan for the wireless capacity. So what does wireless capacity mean? Um, your access points needs to be able to support multiple clients okay, connected to each individual access point. Okay? So it's just not enough for the Wi-Fi signal. You also have to take into consideration how many people will be connecting to the Wi-Fi. Okay? Because um, if uh, 200 clients are connecting to a single Wi-Fi access point, it's going to have a hard time uh, processing all of their requests because um, it's getting overloaded. Right? That is primarily one of the reasons why in your house, if all of you are all connected to the Wi-Fi, the Wi-Fi is getting slower because it has to process all of the requests for all of the users inside your house. Okay? So that's called wireless capacity. Okay? So for this case, um, we don't have any capacity issues on the hotel because one, uh, the, the guests inside the, uh, the hotel rooms are either uh, a maximum of five and an AC access point in wall will be um, actually enough to support all of those uh, people, right? uh -huh. all of those users. On the restaurant, um, actually, um, that is not the proper location of our access points. Um, how I did on the, uh, on the restaurant was uh, a deployment similar to this one. So I put another access point here, another one here, here, and uh, another one here towards the uh, comfort room and toilets. Because as you know, whenever you go to the toilet, <laughs> okay, let's talk in real life, you also whip up your phone. Okay? You use your phone whenever you're in the toilet. Right? So I put another access point there. And that would give good coverage for all of the uh, users inside of those uh, stalls. Okay. So um, that's called uh, wireless capacity. You also need to take into consideration your hardware checks, um, your performance. Um, you need to use the correct access point for each uh, deployment. Okay, It's not enough that you just put um, home access points all over your hotel. Okay, that's not going to cut it up. Okay? You have to also um, design it in terms of a hardware perspective. Okay? Because in terms of uh, uh, the vendors for uh, the various Wi-Fi's that we have uh, in the world right now, they have different models catering to different performances. So in terms of Wi-Fi or Unify, um, this is all of their indoor uh, models, the HD family. So as you can see, um, the Nano HD, Okay. has a maximum capacity for the 2.4 gigahertz radio range of uh, 300 Mbps and uh, on the 5 gigahertz range, 1.733 Mbps. Okay. And it can uh, have a maximum association for Wi-Fi clients of around 200 uh, people at the same time. Okay. Now, if you move up to the next level of the HD family for Unify, as you can see, the speed bump has already increased. Okay, for the 2.4, still stays, stays the same for the 5 gigahertz. But as you can see, it can now accommodate up to 1,000. But really, I don't recommend that you just put one uh, Unify APHD okay, to cater for all of those 1,000. Okay? As much as possible, I don't want to do that. Okay? In a deployment, that's where your capacity comes in. Okay? So let me talk to you about capacity. Um, let's try also try to simulate that one on Ekahau. So let me just remove all of the access points here. Now, this restaurant has a maximum capacity of around uh, 250 people okay, at the floor at the same time. So I can actually provision it also where Ekahau will, will do the design for me okay, on the placement of the access points based on the number of users I have, okay? So um, we'll just go with uh, Auto Planner, okay? So we need to draw the coverage area. Uh, this one, there's the coverage area. So 
So let me just do the simulation here. Coverage area means um, this is the area that I want my Wi-Fi access points to cover. Okay, so that's it. So that's our coverage area. And now from there, I can go with capacity planning. And I'm going to tell um, Eka how um, for this floor, I have 250 simultaneous users at the maximum. Okay, that's going to use a smartphone. Okay, so I just need to add that in. Then I can now do an auto planning for this one. So um, the coverage, I already put it in and the capacity, um, the Wi-Fi solution for this floor should ha should be able to process around 250 simultaneous users. And if I choose just a create plan, that will actually plan out for me the location for all of my access points. Now, I'm not really sure why Ekahao um, put uh, an access point here. Um, I should have um, removed this part on the area that the Wi-Fi needs to cover. Um, because no one really is going to use any Wi-Fi access points here at the fire exit and on the service elevator because that's for employees and emergency purposes only. So let's just remove those access points. Um, not really needed on the dry storage, okay, inside the cold and dry storage of the kitchen. So um, let me just put this one here and that would give me a very good coverage for around 250 persons simultaneously inside this area. So, so that's uh, how you do um, wireless capacity and the hardware checks. Okay, um, so SD1 solution, um, as you know, I'm a very, very big fan of Unify because um, it allows me to put the network management controller in the cloud so that I can manage all of my clients 24 by seven in the comfort of my own home. Okay, so let me just show that to you. Let me just open up my browser here. So let me just log in into my uh, Unify network controller. Okay, this is hosted in Amazon AWS. And I can access this anywhere in the world. Okay, so this one. Okay, so now I already have a Lafayette Hotel here because um, I used uh, one of the access points inside the IT room for temporary access to the internet, but I also have other uh, deployments here. So uh, for example, um, this is one of our deployments for school. Uh, but since it's a pandemic right now, there's no users really that are using uh, uh, the network there. That's why I have zero clients. Um, I also have uh, Unify deployed here at my house. Okay, so um, as you can see here, I can also manage um, uh, the Wi-Fi inside my house. So I have two access points here, one Unify switch and a Unify security gateway. So I can do a speed test here. Um, the comfort of my own home, and this is all managed in, uh, by the cloud. I can see the statistics. Um, it's currently turned off. <laughs> okay, um, I can also see the various clients using my access points. Okay, um, let's just go with one of our uh, uh, deployments. So. This one is for one of uh, for the the house of the hotel owner. So, the hotel owner also requested us to deploy a unified solution inside their house. Um, so it's using five access points: one PoE switch, a unified PoE switch, and a unified security gateway. And from there, I can also see um, uh, the network map. Okay, how the network is currently deployed for my wireless solution and also um, the access points and the individual uh, network devices. And from here, I can actually try and reboot right, 
uh, one of the access points inside their house okay, at the comfort of their own home. So, for example, this one. Um, let's see. Uh, the veranda. Usually, there's no clients there. So, I can actually restart that one at the comfort of my own home and troubleshoot. So, if I also want to, for example, um, update uh, the firmware or any of the access points, up, upgrade and downgrade, I can also do it here. So, for example, um, for this access point, okay, I can actually edit on the configuration. Uh, the IP address, um, band steering, airtime fairness, wireless uplinks, um, the radios, what channel they will be using. Okay. And also I can manage a device here. I can um, uh, upgrade, downgrade the, the firmware and all of that. Okay. All at the comfort of my own home. So that is the advantage of a software-defined network management controller. So this is from Unify. So um, that's it, fellow IT engineers, for this very long video. But it tells you how to do um, a proper planning for your Wi-Fi solution. Okay? So um, planning for your Wi-Fi is not just uh, putting extra access points all over the place. Okay? That's actually a very bad thing to do. Okay? Um, you need to really plan from the start for you to be able to maximize the performance of your Wi-Fi while keeping the costs low for your client. So that's it, fellow IT engineers, for this video, and I'll see you on the next lesson.